So what are they? Five generic objections. Drawbacks. A drawback is when there is a feature or benefit that is either present but undesired or desired but not present. So it's either the presence of something that you don't want or the absence of something that you do want. Indifference is when you're okay with the status quo. There probably are drawbacks and skepticism there if you started to surface it, but you say, oh, I'm, I'm okay with the status quo, or you may be okay with it and satisfied. You may be just tolerating it. You may be resigned and cynical that there's any other way. That's indifference. A misunderstanding is when what a client, prospect, or colleague thinks that is different from what is actually true and present. We'll go some examples of that later. Excuses, well, I think most people know what excuses are, but I'm going to say excuses are stories or reasons that people make up because they are afraid of taking action. And since the clear model, the conversation model in the book Conversations is all about gaining agreement for action and ultimately having action be taken, excuses are one of those things that have to be overcome. We'll talk about how to do that. And then the S in dimes is skepticism. I think skepticism is one that people are more familiar with. Obviously, skepticism is when your client, prospect, or colleague doubts something that you have said about some kind of feature or benefit that's available to them to address their needs. What questions do you have about the way I've defined each of these objections? I found something pretty interesting that you said. Um, you said skepticism and one other objection is sometimes surface level, uh, but it might be something different. So. Uh, and maybe I'm answering my own question by asking the question, but how do you dig deep enough to know that it is indifference or something by, deeper? By being become an expert at exploring mm. and probing. Okay. And that's why you don't address before you learn and explore. Mm. And you certainly don't put out a solution which is what most people do. They jump to the solution before they've learned, explored, and addressed. I do think you were pointing at something that was important that was not said by me, which is you sometimes have to disentangle these. There are situations where all five are present. Mm. In fact, there's usually more than one present, and so you almost always have to disentangle them. So when you really pick it apart, and again, we can only show this in role play or actual conversations, there may be that someone is skeptical because there's a misunderstanding, or it could be that someone is indifferent because there's a drawback and they're resigned to that drawback. And so, as I mentioned in my definition, they are resigned and cynical that there's a product feature service that can actually address their needs, which makes them skeptical, even though they're indifferent. And there's a misunderstanding because they think there's some kind of drawback. And so what they do is they come back to you with their excuses. So not only do you need to dissect and diagnose what the specific objection is, you have to be able to dissect the dissection. Like, in other words, we got inside the frog and then there's a heart in the frog. And then we got to dissect the frog's heart. I was really uncomfortable with dissecting frogs in, in biology, but that is a time, there's a different time for that story. But you see how complex this is. Mm -hmm. Like my approach is so sophisticated and elaborate and thoughtful. And I'm, I'm not saying this to pat myself on the back. I'm, I'm saying it because I'm grateful to you for allowing me to teach you this 
And when I teach it, I realize how much thought I've given to it over my 30 year career, over my 40,000 conversations, over all the thinking that I did to write the book and think it through. And then here's what's great is not only have I learned things by trial and error and observation and like really trying things with actual people, but then when I get to teach it, I learn newer insights. That actually was a new insight to me, the dissecting the frog's heart inside of the frog and kind of disentangling all those. 